Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I just woke up, so bear with me. <laughs> I know I still have like a very like sleepy voice. This kit is called Warm Wishes by Sadie Stickers and my code with her shop is Rachel20 for 20% off. It's also in rose gold and I was really, really craving a very neutral kit and this really satisfied my um, my need to do like a neutral kit because lately I've been doing a lot of like blues and like pinks. So really excited to dive right in. So if you have any questions, please comment below and I hope that you enjoy. I kept changing the sidebar just because I wasn't happy with the way the month section looked at the top. So I used the ninth full box because it was specifically specifically like a holiday box. And I trimmed it just to give, you know, the colors of like the um, fruit and the coffee. And I thought that looked really pretty. So this I felt like I needed to do as a solution because I love the green eucalyptus on the back of my planner, like the covers. But you know, and this is with any planner I've used where sometimes if there's a pattern or a style behind it and you fold your planner, you're still going to see the pattern. So I always kind of felt like the green clashed with a lot of spreads I did and I just didn't like it for like aesthetic reasons with my planner with me. So thankfully I had like a white washi strip. I think it was from Planner Just For You as like a freebie or no, I think that might have been from the Glitter Mama, one or the other. <laughs> and I just used that to cover up that like top sliver of that back cover, if that makes any sense. So on the sidebar, I used a lot of, um, or I will use a lot of the snowflake flourishes from the Pretty Pink Co. And here I'm using tons of accents from Honey Inked, lots of like half snowflakes, her snowflakes and dots and stars, etc. The other like I guess leaf deco are from Sadie stickers and in the sidebar I used a half snowflake trim from honey inked and the scalp is from panda bird design and the larger snowflake is from honey inked and also my March script is from the glitter mama so the date dots are from Sadie stickers I tried my best to make this a lot of Sadie stickers icons and other stickers just because I felt like it looked really cohesive I've been trying to be intentional about this like if I'm using a Crafts by Towie kit. I'm going to use a ton of Crafts by Towie icons. I mean, I do naturally, but I feel like I will, I usually go all out. And it's nice because it makes the entire spread look more cohesive. And especially if you have different things from a shop that offers more than like kits or more than deco, it's kind of nice to pull it, pull it in all together. I'm tripping on my words. I haven't even finished my coffee. <laughs> so on Monday, I marked Hello March. That script is from Rose Colored Days. I'm not going to be redundant with the deco pieces because they're mostly from Honey Inked. The work from home script is from the Glitter Mama. Since I used her month script and a lot of her 
uh, the scripts throughout the spread. I try to just keep it cohesive, like the birthday scripts and the work from home scripts are all from her. And then the nail polish is from Crafts by Towie. Also, those um, phone icons I'll be using all week are from the Glitter Mama as well. It was just nice to keep it very cohesive and <laughs> honestly quite satisfying. So the bike is from Crafts by Towie. I think I was pretty good at working out this week. Was this? Yeah, I think this was the week that I worked out um, like five times. So I was incredibly proud of myself or four, four times. I'm not sure. <laughs> Regardless, I made myself a goal where I'm going to try to work out at least between three to five times a week. If more, awesome. You know, I'm not going to hold myself to that expectation, but realistically, three to four times or three to five times is achievable. And I don't want to, I gave myself a range. So I'm not mad at myself or frustrated if I went, you know, if I only did three versus doing like five. You know what I mean? And because I just know there are going to be some days and some weeks where I'm just not going to be motivated and not want to be consistent because I just don't care or I'm tired. <laughs> and I've just been trying to give myself a lot of grace, but I've been really proud of myself. February and, you know, most of March so far, I've been very good with keeping with that goal. So on Tuesday, I marked working from home. I tried to use the snowflake flourishes from the Pretty Pink Coat every other day. And that is a TV console from Crafts by Towie. The hearts I put over it are from Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesdays. The kettlebell, I'll be using them all week to mark working out. And that is from Letters to Apollo. I believe it was a $2 Tuesday as well. And then here I use this beautiful like Hobonichi size kind of box from The Giving Girl. And it was like an, it's a notched box. So it's really pretty. And I layered it over the rest of that full box I didn't use just to give it a background. And then I layered two hearts or yeah, two. So basically four hearts from Clever Gal Crafts because it's the duo hearts. And, you know, I that trick I always do where I just put the foiled one over the colored one so I can pretty much foil whichever color I want. And I used some snowflakes from Honey Inked. I tried to use half snowflakes and half scallops periodically throughout the spread so it looked balanced. And I was super intentional about that in this spread specifically because I used a ton of mini half snowflakes at the top above the day covers and I just wanted it to look a lot more cohesive. So on Wednesday, I worked from home. I FaceTime Tay. Again, the phone is from the Glitter Mama and that heart cluster I just put down that is from the Giving Girl. Here I'm doing some layering. I'm going to cut up this like half, no, this circle snowflake box thing, circle, whatever, that is from Mini Riot Co. I wanted to layer that behind the Bowstrung box from The Giving Girl. I was so happy that this color from a set that I have from The Giving Girl matched this kit because I have yet to be able to use it because you're really taking a chance when you're buying colored boxes, colored icons, anything. Because sometimes, you know, or oftentimes shops use different variations of pinks, tans, neutrals, blues, blacks, whatever. I mean, black, I feel like there's only one black, but <laughs> you just never know. Okay, so that is a like post office mail thing from White Dare Stationery. Love it, super adorable. And also I trimmed down the circle like snowflake thing from Mini Riot Co. Because when I layer, I noticed, or when I initially started layering, I noticed when I'm gonna write on a box, it's very bumpy because of the sticker behind it. And this is definitely the case when I layer a lot with mandalas. So what I've been trying to be conscious of is cutting it down so I'm not writing on the bumpy part and it makes my writing look bad. So that is a line flourish from or just a line divider, foiled line divider from Sadie Stickers. I've been liking doing that behind stuff to kind of give it some dimension and also because there's a very faint line in the planner and I just want to cover it and I don't want to use white out. So I've been really good. Like I am so proud of myself. I rarely use white out anymore just because of the different planner that I have now. And it's quite, it's quite nice. Like I'm saving money in that, in that area. So the, what I call dot banners, <laughs> Honey Inked, she was the first one I've ever used them from. I don't know what she formally called them, but I know Alicia of Sadie Stickers calls them garlands. I just call them dot banners. So that's what I usually reference them. And I loved using that to just decorate down there. The tripod camera is from Crafts by Towie. And then the squiggle I use at the bottom of Wednesday is from Sadie Stickers. 
So on Thursday, marking work, I was in the office on Thursday and Friday this week, I believe. And that is a work um, work script from Panda Bird Design. Sorry, I was getting distracted. I was getting a text message. And then I also wanted to use this super cute pen cup from Crafts by Towie. She just released these. I think it was her volume eight that she is permanently putting in her shop. And I love the polka dot coffee cup. It is incredibly adorable. So I just wanted to mark that I was training my replacement at work all day this day. Pretty much every day has been training, <laughs> especially be like leading up to me leaving. But, you know, I just mark it when I have nothing else to really mark because, you know, COVID. So that's fine. Also, these flowers, I used one on Monday and the one I used on Thursday. Those were from a freebie from Jackson Pepper. And I just watched one of Tay's videos and she was always saying like, don't sleep on your freebies. And she is absolutely right. I, I'm i very intentional with which freebies I use because I know what I'm going to use. So I'll always put it in my leftover sticker book because it's moments like this when I'm craving like a floral or a deco piece just to add to my spread and give it some dimension and soften, up, soften it up a little bit because this is a photo kit and a lot of the boxes are very squared off. It's nice to have this. So I was very happy to be able to pull in at least two. <laughs> That's all that I had, but it was really pretty regardless. And I foiled it up using tons of accents from Honey Inked. And that is again, the Giving Girl Bowstrung box to mark that I finished my taxes. So that was really nice. The, uh, not sunglasses, those glasses are from Crafts by Towie. So here I'm layering two flags vertically. I don't always do this and I did for a while. Like I kind of had this like kick where I was just doing it so much because I really liked how it looked. And sometimes it calls for that when a kit offers so many long vertical flags and I don't do weekend banners. So I try to use it in a different way. So it was really nice to kind of try it again. I marked FaceTiming my sister and Tay and then the dot the dot drop, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> the one on Thursday that I put on the two flags layered on top of each other, that's also from Sadie Stickers. I think it was her New Year's release. And I used another snowflake flourish from the Pretty Pink Co. And that is an iPhone from the Glitter Mama. The star I used at the bottom of Thursday, that is from Honey Inked. On Friday, I used some more accents and snowflakes from Honey Inked. And then I wanted to decorate that kind of empty flag. And those are no longer going to be in Sadie's kits unless you get like her older formats, but she just changed her format recently. So she'll no longer have like those flags hidden at the top. And I, I laughed because she said it was like the end of an era, which I get. And it's so true, but I love, I am obsessed with her new format. If you guys haven't seen it yet, highly recommend checking out her shop. My link is below and also just checking out her stories. I don't know if she keeps them in her highlights or anything, but I'm sure she also posted pictures on her Instagram. Very gorgeous kit. I think I was just telling telling her that it is my favorite kit she has done and like so far and it's probably one of my favorites because and it also helps because it's like the May kit and I'm a May baby, so <laughs> there's that. But really loving it and I'm a huge fan of neutral like spring and summer kits. I'm not a huge pastel or bright colored Person. I think you guys could gather that from all of the spreads I do. And I'm just really excited to see a spring kit that isn't super pastel and bright pink. Um, very satisfying. So I was really happy to see that. And not to mention all the full boxes are just gorgeous. So I'm going to stop blabbing about that. On Friday, I my coworker, he treated me to Chipotle and Starbucks, you know, because I was going to be leaving soon. And I used some utensils from White Air Stationery. The shoes I use at the bottom of Friday to mark going on a late night walk with my family is from Planning World. And on Saturday, I marked a birthday, my brother's birthday here. The happy birthday is from the Glitter Mama. The heart balloons are from Crafts by Towie. I am obsessed with those. That mini dot banner is from Honey Inked. By the way, those are on her Christmas sampler sheet. But by the way, she is going to be making full sheets of them. They have been on my winter freebie if you have that or are interested in trying it out. And I'm so, so excited that she will be releasing those soon and I'll share more about it once I know more, but I'm obsessed with them and they got a lot of traction and a lot of, I got a lot of awesome positive responses about them. So very happy you guys have been liking them. And a lot of you have actually DM'd me asking if she was going to make them full sheets, but 
don't worry, I got you. <laughs> I already asked her way ahead of time because I loved using them all over the place during my holiday spreads and it's just going to stick. It's like one of my new favorite things I've been doing in my spreads since like, you know, holiday 2020. But love it. I hope this trend continues because it is gorgeous. And then I used another snowflake flourish from the Pretty Pink Co. And I did the same thing with the like notched box from the Given Girl. I layered it over some of like the top part of the kit where there was a pattern and I just cut it out. I used a TV console. I've been or Greg and I watched this show called Behind Her Eyes. Let me know if you watched it and what you thought about it. You guys, seriously, <laughs> I feel like I could have just watched the last episode by itself and understood the whole thing. But the last episode was wicked. I was just like, wow, wicked might not be the right word, but I was I was very impressed and I was like blown away by it because it was just a really good like last episode, but I kind of was frustrated. I didn't watch it thoroughly with Greg, like he would have it on and I'll be watching in the background like here and there. But truthfully, you don't, in my opinion, you don't even need to watch from the very beginning. I feel like you can just watch the last episode and pretty much get the gist of the entire show. I'm assuming they're going to have a second season because of the cliffhanger, but it was wild. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> I think the show reminds me a lot of, I think the show is called Lock and Key. I'm not 100% sure if that's the name of it, but it's very similar to that show and I loved that show. So I hope they're coming back with a second season too. I talked over a lot of stickers here, just ask below. And here I'm using a large full snowflake from Honey Inked. I really like how I offset this and I'm gonna trim the side here. I used a Panda Bird Design scallop and then I used a foiled line divider from Sadie Stickers to cap it off. And the plans change script is from Panda Bird Design as a custom. So thank you so much for watching. I know I rambled. Here is a Viv Wiggle. I appreciate you staying through the entire video and take care. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.